know your IS code provisions short lecture series. In this short lecture, I will explain about vertical geometry irregularity. So it is well known that regular buildings with uniform uh, plan and elevation, that means uniform distribution of mass in plan and elevation, uniform distribution of stiffness in plan and elevation, they behave well during earthquakes. So when this vertical geometry irregularity uh, occurs in a building, so this occurs uh, due to architectural requirements to satisfy sometimes the needs of the client. So when do we say a structure is irregular in terms of vertical geometry? And what are the safeguards uh, which IS 1893 is providing against that? So let's go into the details. Yeah, vertical geometry irregularity. See, vertical geometry irregularity shall be considered to exist when the horizontal dimension of the lateral force resisting system in any story is more than 125% of the story below. So this is the, like if uh, structure satisfies this, then we say that there is a vertical geometry irregularity. So what is that? Uh, the horizontal plant dimension is 125%. That means 25% more than the grid dimension. So then we say that vertical geometry irregularity is present in that. So something like this, you can see. Now here you can see that the base dimension is L and this, the offset, which is there, it is total uh, length of the offset is A. So if A is 25% of L or more than 25% of the L, we consider it as to be geometrically irregular. So in this case, you can see, this is uh, uh, like step back. So A and A, this put together, uh, like one, uh, A is 120, uh, like 12.5%, more than 12.5%, both put together, it is more than 25%. Now this is a setback, here also you can see. So if these kind of things are there, okay? So we consider this as vertical geometry irregularities present in such kind of structures. Now, now, what are the issues because of this vertical geometry irregularity? Number one is the earthquake performance. So it is this geometry is detrimental to earthquake performance of the building. That is one thing. Then the second one is there are two types of this vertical geometry irregularities are there. So what are they? One is called setback buildings, setback buildings. And this is setback building. So this one, this is setback setbacks are there and this is step back. So this one is step back. So uh, setback and step back. Now, what are the problems because of this setback and uh, step backs? So let's consider say any uh, floor plan, uniformly distributed mass is there in that floor and uniformly distributed stiffness is also there in that floor. So that means what center of mass and center of stiffness or resistance are coinciding, but uh, when we go to different different floors from bottom to top, then there are setbacks. Okay, there are step backs in this, you can see. So that means what the center of mass, center of stiffness, even when they are coinciding, the vertical alignment of these points, they are not in the same vertical line. So that is a problem. So that means they tend to like bend. Now, in that case, during horizontal shaking, so this, uh, floors will tend to rotate. So there will be torsion in it. So another thing is there are many re-entrant corners, re-entrant corners. So as we know that in another clause, I have already discussed that. So because of the presence of this re-entrant re corner, there will be stress concentration and also poor earthquake performance of this building will be there. Then on another problem is load path. So this load path, instead of having a straight load path, from the diaphragm to the base, this load path will bend. So that is another uh, issue because of vertical geometry irregularity. And also these frames, if we uh, look into the frames, so this right side frame is of say three story frame, this is of three story, and suddenly this is a five story frame. So frames are having different heights. So in that case, what happens is taller frames tend to deform more. 
because of its flexibility. Then another uh, thing is taller frames are subjected to more forces because of more, mar more, more mass present in it. So these are some of the uh, like detrimental or adverse uh, things if the vertical geometry irregularity is present in the structure. Now what code, code says? So code says in this kind of buildings, in such kind of buildings where vertical geometry irregularity is present, like in uh, especially in zone three, zone four and zone five areas, the earthquake effects shall be estimated using dynamic analysis method. So in dynamic analysis method, one can capture the actual behavior of earthquake, thereby the stress resultants on all the structural elements can be computed in a uh, proper manner. Yeah, so the intention of this uh, short lecture is to help students and practicing engineers to understand IS code uh, provisions in a better manner. Following references have been used in uh, making of this uh, presentation. So thank you.